Elisha, and I'm really nervous. I'm going to hide here. So I'm the co-organizer of Rails Girls Singapore, and I have like zero programming background. I studied psychology and was not technical at all. So the best technical skills I have was to create that, th that picture you see over there using PowerPoint and Paint. I'm like really proud. I was really proud of myself, af but after Linda's talk, like maybe not so much. So I picked up programming when I couldn't find a tech co-founder for my startup, and that's when I was exposed into, to the Ruby and Rails community, and that's when I found out it's such a nice community. Like, I mean, the software is free. There's like tons of free tutorials. Uh, people are nice, and they really help me out when I have a bug, uh, when I couldn't figure out why my code doesn't work, or when I co couldn't figure out why my code works. So people really helped me out. And, you know, so I started thinking, like, for a community that's given me so much, how can I give back? So I don't agree that I need to have become a certain kind of person or to have a certain specific level of skills before I could, you know, call myself good enough to start giving back, uh, contribute meaningfully. So I started looking around on what I can help, and here's a list of what I found that you can contribute even though you can't code. So the first thing is organized events. So like conferences like this don't organize by itself, uh, at least not yet until some, someone codes something for it. So conferences like this are a way for community to get together and share knowledge. And it's mostly run by volunteers, like uh, Winston is a volunteer, so is Anna. So a way for you to contribute without code is to organize something like this. Or it doesn't have to be as big as this. It could be also a small meetup or just like a hack session. If event organizing isn't your cup of tea, you can also try helping out at events. So there's a couple of ways that you can help out at events. So the first thing uh, I like can see on the picture is you can design like t-shirts and stickers for our conference. So Doralyn and Tianmeng actually designed the, um, our collateral for this year and last year. Or you could MC an event like this, like Anna here, like she's also in the picture, and, and Winston. Or you could talk to your boss about hosting a meetup in your office. So Tanya from ThoughtWorks has been doing that for, for Rosie Girls in Singapore. And uh, Lawrence also volunteered as a photographer and usually help us with uh, PayPal. So another thing you can do is to share your knowledge. Uh, you, don't need to have, you don't need to know a lot in order to share what you know. Some ways you can share what you know is by teaching someone. Uh, it could be at a global organization like Rails Girls or Rails Bridge. Uh, it could be just like helping someone out to fix a bug or uh, a stack overflow or, or you see them like struggling around. Um, yeah, you could even share your session, share what you've learned uh, at a conference, a meetup, or just write about it. So if you are uncomfortable uncomfor with sharing your knowledge or you really think that you have no knowledge to share, you can help by sharing someone else's knowledge. So here's some examples it can be done. Um, you can interview programmers so others could learn from their experiences. An example is We Built by Sayani. It's a podcast. And on the website, you can also find all the events, uh, tech events that are happening in Singapore. So that's a great way for, for you to contribute. Another thing is, uh, another way is by filming all the presentation that ha that uh, that um, are done during meetups. So Michael, Michael from, I uh, can't remember where you worked. So, <laughs> sorry. Deal. But but that's not important. The important thing is that he has been going to different meetups and, and to film everything down to upload them on YouTube. So that even if you can't make it for the meetup, you can actually learn from it. So that's great. So check it out, engineers.sg. Um, he's also looking for volunteers. You can find him outside. So the last thing is, you know, little things count. Um, you can just contribute to the Ruby community by being nice to one another. Just Try to make this a friendly environment, a, welcome, a welcoming environment for everyone. You could ask questions after a talk. Uh, you could even just pick up trash or like clean up, uh, pack up the chairs after a meetup. And that's, that's really a, a kind of contributing to the community as well. So yeah, I think that contributing to the community goes beyond writing codes, documentation, or fixing bugs. It's more like creating a way for the community to get together, share knowledge. It's about welcoming people into the community as well. So I hope this talk gives you an idea of how you can contribute right now and to encourage you to get started. So thank you for your contributions.